I'm super excited actually I love food and look what I have here before filming this video I went grocery shopping and bought this product so I could show you what I'm talking about Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana and in today's video we will be talking about traditional Russian foods and products that are diet friendly and healthy. You know, on this channel we often talk about modeling and fashion models also love these products and often have them in their diets. Of course, those who are from Russian speaking countries or somehow are related to Russia and are aware of them. You know, Russian cuisine is very special and sometimes it can have some strange combinations. To be honest, I'm not a fan of all of the Russian dishes, but still there are some really healthy and interesting foods there and I'm going to share them with you guys. And also you can find the similar foods worldwide, either similar or the exact foods because there are many Russian shops everywhere. I want it to be real. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you everything that I bought here and let's just start the video. I'm super excited actually, I love food. So everyone loves food. So I would like to start with this little, I don't know how to call this a jar or something. This thing called kvashene kapusta, but in English it could be translated like fermented cabbage. You may know it as sauerkraut in German and I think worldwide it's the most popular thing. It's also a little bit similar to Korean kimchi but it's not that spicy there's only fermented cabbage and a little bit of salt and some people add their the carrots like I have here and also the dill and its little seeds this cabbage is fermented by various lactic bacteria and has a sour flavor a long time ago it helped people to survive during the winter time. You can easily make sour cabbage yourself, you just need to cut the cabbage, layer it with salt and leave it to ferment. Usually it takes one or two days depending on the amount of the cabbage. And after that you need to put it into a jar or a wooden container. As far as I remember, I've seen how my mom did it. <laughs> and after that you can store it in the fridge or anywhere where the temperature is lower than 15 degrees. And yeah, this product can be stored for about five or six months easily. It has only 19 calories per 100 grams, which is why everyone who are on a diet really loves it. And it also has many benefits for your health. First of all, it is good for digestion because of the probiotics, as I've mentioned before, and it's also a source of vitamin C, vitamin K. You can find many types of sour cabbage in supermarkets, and I'm sure you can find it anywhere around you, at least in Russian shops. Although it's a really great product for your health, there's a side effect if you'll eat too much of it you can experience bloating so please be careful <laughs> i personally love sour cabbage and i recommend you to try it if you haven't yet so the next traditional russian product that is diet friendly and also good for your digestion is kefir and it's a fermented milk product it's a little bit similar to yogurt the drinking yogurt but still it's a little bit different it also contains probiotics because it was fermented and that's why it's really really good for your health i personally don't like it i'm not a fan of dairy products but if you enjoy dairy products this one is really nice for example my mom loves it <laughs> Several dietary minerals are found in kefir, such as calcium, iron, magnesium, and etc. Kefir can be of different fat percentage. For example, this one has 
one percent of fat it only depends of the fat of the milk it was produced from people who are on a diet really love kefir because it is also low in calories and help helps your digestion so it has 36 calories per 100 grams one gram of fat three grams of protein and three and eight grams of carbohydrates mm, it is low in fats but there are more carbs in it and i've talked about it in my video about dieting and how to lose the weight so yeah please check it out if you're curious models often like to have kefir for dinner and not only models everyone when they want to have a very light dinner also people sometimes have it as a snack and yeah for example my mom loves to have it before going to bed so like two or three hours prior to going to bed and when i used to eat dairy products i liked kefir mixed with a cinnamon it was like i don't know interesting combination and for me it was like a dessert i would say so yeah there are many strange dishes containing kefir in russia if you're curious i can film something about it and also about the negative effects the side effects of kefir i think there aren't many except it's a dairy product and some people are intolerant to dairy products if you enjoy eating dairy products i recommend you to try it to try something new <laughs> I think it can be found in many shops. I know in US you can easily find it in the supermarkets or in Russian shops. And yeah, in Asia, I don't really remember if I've seen it in Asia, but I think you can find it there as well. The next product that is really popular among people on a diet and also models is Tvorok and in English it's called Quark. It's really really similar to cottage cheese but still it's not the same. I found out that it's also a little bit similar to French fromage blanc, Indian paneer and etc. It is white and soft and usually there's no salt added. Here you can see that there are so so many various types of quark in the supermarkets available. There are many different dishes made of quark but often people just eat it as it is. For example having it for a dinner or breakfast you can add some sugar and sour cream or just frozen berries and jam. People really love this product because it's also low in calories and high in protein, so you're feeling full for a really long time. It's only 144 calories per 100 grams. Honestly, again, not my product at all because I'm allergic to some fermented food. <laughs> I'm not allergic to dairy, I don't enjoy it. And yeah, I can't have Tvorok, Quark, but there are so many delicious dishes with Quark. Again, guys, if you want to know more, let me know and I'll film a new video about it. So next product that I would like to show you guys is Grechka or in English it's called buckwheat. Usually the green buckwheat is more popular in Europe and US and it's available in most of the shops, although it's really expensive. But in Russia we have this brown color buckwheat and it's because prior to packaging it was fried and I don't know, it was warmed up and yeah, basically it was fried and it has this brown shade and also it tastes different from the green buckwheat. We usually boil it and have it as a meal along with something sour or sweet depending on your taste. It's super super filling. 
Although it's not low in calories, it's super popular among everyone because again, you feel super full and you don't want to eat for a really long time. Fashion models bring buckwheat with them to their modeling trips. If you've seen some of my interviews with the fashion models, you've probably noticed it if you haven't checked it out. And yeah, buckwheat is gluten-free and it's a good source of fiber, also vitamin C. And yeah, if you haven't tried it, please do. It's really, really tasty. I love it. I love to have it with the soy sauce. It's a little bit strange to have it with the soy sauce. And when I say that I eat it like this, people usually are surprised, but it's really cool. If you like sour dishes, you can try it with the ketchup maybe. I also like it like this. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's not typical for Russians to eat it like I do. Anyways, you can find the buckwheat in the Russian shops and you can find the green buckwheat everywhere, but green buckwheat tastes different and it's not like a very traditional Russian food. product is a dark bread or it also called the black bread in Russia and yeah you may say that bread isn't a diet friendly product but I disagree first of all because it's not a white bread and this is the difference between Russian bread and most of the other breads especially in Europe it's really hard to find dark bread and dark bread is lower in calories because mostly it's made of whole grain wheat and it's more diet friendly because of it and it's really filling and has some fiber in it and it's tasty so I don't think you need to restrict yourself completely and not having the bread at all. For example, you can have some avocado toast for breakfast or some toast with salmon or with something sweet depending on your taste. And here I have uh, the Borodinsky bread. It's a type of fry bread which is really popular in Russia. There are many types of fry bread here and I do enjoy this one. I love to have it as a toasted bread for breakfast. For example, I did it this morning. I literally ate two pieces of bread with a matcha latte and this was my breakfast because I was too lazy and I wanted to film this video before the sun will disappear. So yeah, I had this type of bread for breakfast and if you haven't tried dark bread, please do. I know it's hard to find it in Asia, but there are some, for example, French bakeries where you can find it or some German bakeries. I think because in German speaking countries in Europe, there are some types of dark bread as well. And in US, it was easy for me to find dark bread. So yeah, please check it out and try it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you've tried any of these products, any of these Russian foods. And let me know if you would like to see more videos like this or maybe something food related, recipe videos and everything. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I see you next time. Love you. Bye.